Good. Forgive I'm, me. I'm just finishing a cookie. Oh, yeah. Forgive me. Uh, I cosplayed as a really out of shape and sweaty John Wick. Bad decision. <laughs> but uh, it's an honor to speak with both of you. This is a really cool film. It's a big love letter to action cinema, this big epic mm. uh, gift to fans of action movies. Uh, I guess for both of you, what interests you about the John Wick franchise, uh, and how does it stand out in the landscape of action cinema? Um, yeah, I love this series because um, 12 years ago when I worked with Keanu, he told me that uh, next project is a big action movie with Chad. So I said, good luck. I'll go to theater. <laughs> so from one, and two, three, I watched all the series. And then, yeah, I, I was proud of Keanu and Chad because they created a great original action uh, entertainment. So finally, when Chad called me and I created the role for you, old friend of John Wick. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's the best role for me. <laughs> See you on set. <laughs> so it was a great re uh, reunion with yeah. Keanu for me. After uh, 47 run and Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. For you, uh, anything about John Wick that you feel stands out from most action movies or excites you? Mm -hmm. oh, man, I think. I think this the ensemble, the cast, yeah. I think the cast is a big part of why people love this film. You just have so many icons and unapologetically teaming Lawrence and Keanu back up again. You know, I think there's obviously an undercurrent of that relationship from their previous work on The Matrix. Right. I think some of the most ambitious action sequences in like action movie history, I think that's a big mm -hmm. part of it. I also think the puppy, you know, who doesn't love a dog? Yeah. And I think knowing that that's his beacon and his North Star and why John Wick is essentially back for revengeance is his wife and his puppy. Mm -hmm. And I got to be a part of this film with my own puppy, a Belgian Malinois, which is really cool, playing oh. the tracker. That was your, your dog? No, no, no. Oh, I okay. wish. I wish. It was the tracker's dog. There was dog. so much joy. It was in my dog. own. It was the tracker's. <laughs> I took, of course, I took a lot of drugs. I spent a lot of time with yeah. those pups. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, you uh, have done some impressive things preparing for different roles. Aside from the intense training and choreography, was there anything specific here that, that you did to prepare? Yeah. I mean, the tracker had a lot of interesting things about him. One of them was the notebook that you would see in the movie. Yeah. And so... I don't know how exciting this is for anybody, but I took the notebook home, you know, and I kind of put my own DNA on the notebook by, you know, writing, creating things, putting my own little drawings and things like that. Um, I spent a lot of time with the dogs, you know, when I wasn't asked to, I just wanted to mm -hmm. be with them, so I'd walk with them, fed them. Um, and yeah, I just really tried to build a, as much of a backstory for this, this, this transient individual who is considered Mr. Nobody, you know, mm -hmm. which was really cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're both such complex characters in this. Um, there's many attributes to each of you, positive and, and friendly with John, but also this sort of um, threatening quality, especially with your character. Uh, was it true that you were going to play a villain or an antagonist in the third film? And did you prefer maybe playing a friend of John Wick in this one instead? Yeah, um, at that time, um, yeah, Chad called me and then read the script. Okay, let's do it. But during the training, uh, my own tr self training, I got uh, injured. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, uh, I was almost there. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> I had to, you know, retire. And then I called Chad, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Keanu. <laughs> So I, I was so shocked by myself, but uh, Chad remembered me and then gave me another chance. So feels like it was revenge for me. <laughs> so happy to be back. Did it kind of feel like slipping back into that uh, relationship from 47 Ronan in a way, or was it a different dynamic? Yeah, but um, I could use, we, I hope uh, we could use uh, those chemistry easily. Yeah. So 47 running took a long time, two, more than two years. And, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Spent a long time in Budapest, London. So we were like a great team. So, you know, the making one movie is like a more than 10 years old friend, mm -hmm. I think. 20 years knowing each other mm -hmm. like deeply. <laughs> so that's why it was easy to create the scenes with, with Keanu this time. Yeah, it was definitely a natural relationship. And a movie filled with so many incredible set pieces, a franchise <laughs> filled with iconic set pieces. Was there one that was extremely challenging just for both of you uh, individually? Oh man, I think the ultimate through line for the most challenging was the night shoots. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We had to film everything at night. So during the day, people are like, oh, you're in Paris, you're in Japan, you're all these places. We never got to see any of those places, really. <laughs> Me, at least. You know, rarely I did, but uh, most of it was spent sleeping during the days and then up at nights. And the thing about night shoots is when that sun hits, we got to stop, which could potentially push the day. Then you'd have to redo or continue doing what you were doing the night before. And then, you know, you're exhausted and mm. all those things of making movies that are so glamorous. <laughs> Uh, for me, you know, my role, Koji Shimazu, is very important for the beginning of the movie. So it was a little pressure I had. Uh, of course, a lot of fans, one, two, three, and then <laughs> what's going on mm -hmm. in fours. But I just really enjoyed the co collaborate with Chad mm -hmm. and Keanu. Yeah. Um, and the most challenging thing was uh, the scene between Donnie, the fighting scene. Yeah. Uh, we have different background that corroborate together mm -hmm. and then put the idea together. Mm -hmm. And then matching for the drama, emotion, and the situation. Mm -hmm. uh, don't go short time. This is a part of drama. The fighting is just a, you know, mm -hmm. essence. That, that was our uh, feeling. Mm -hmm. So fighting itself is not hard, but create good uh, choreograph yeah. and then back all, all back to the drama and the emotion right. and continue to the movie. The action as an expression of the emotion and the drama. Yeah, yeah. so keep those things was the mm -hmm. most challenging thing. And uh, Obviously, no spoilers or anything, but would you want to continue if John Wick returns in a fifth film? Of course. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That's a no-brainer. No-brainer. <laughs> no-brainer, of course. I'll be a John 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, TV show version, <laughs> web series version, documentary version, the tracker version. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's awesome. It's... Uh, it's been a real pleasure speaking with both of you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank All you. Right. Beautiful. Thank you.